Now let's review making transactions using QR Inventory. Click on transaction types in the menu and you will see a list of transaction types already in the system. At any time you can review, edit, remove or add a new one. Let's create a new transaction of type lease. First, let's create transaction of type we will call lease out. That is transaction when you lease an item to a client. For the reports, we will want to track price and we will also track returns. Now we will create an opposite transaction for an item being returned from lease by a client. Here you can see transaction types we just created in a list and if you click on the name you will see the details. As we discussed in the video adapting QR inventory to your business, each transaction might have trackable properties that you can track and use in reports. Let's create a trackable transaction property called PO number. It will apply to transactions of several types, such as lease, project out, sale, etc. It will be free form text that we will require employee to enter for each transaction of these types. Now that we learned how to create transaction types, let's perform a transaction. Here you see the screen of mobile phone on the left and on the right is a QR code that I just generated for one of the items in my inventory using web part of the application. In real life you will have QR codes like this printed and attached or glued to your products. Let's start with simply checking stock. I click check stock button and now I have a choice to scan the QR code, scan a regular barcode or enter product ID using phone's keyboard. I select scanning QR code and now it takes a second to actually scan the code and now I see how many of these items I have in each of my three warehouses. Now we can do inventory transaction. First we'll select warehouse, then select type of the transaction. Let's say I'm taking something out for a project. Since I previously marked PO number as a required field, I must enter it. Speaking about fields, unlike many other inventory management applications, QR Inventory allows you to create types of transactions and track item properties that are very specific to your business. Now I am just scanning QR code of the item I am taking for the project. Entering quantity and item specific properties. In this case it is color and maximum power. One more click and we see the interface familiar to anybody who have ever ordered anything online. At this point you can scan another item change quantity or complete your transaction. Now that we checked out what we needed, we can go back and check inventory again to make sure the available number of items in our warehouse decreased. Indeed, it did decrease. In the same manner, we can add new items we received from the manufacturer. Transaction type I am selecting now is restocking. 
I scanned a different QR code, this time it's ACDC power supply, and I'm adding 100 of those items to my inventory. Checking stock confirms that now I have 100 of ACDC power supplies in my inventory. This is a short overview of basic transactions using QR inventory. Please let us know should you have any questions or comments.